All right. How many of you all are podcast fans? All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, I would like to introduce you all to um, the On Me podcast, and we're going to go behind the scenes to learn how podcasting became a vehicle for connected learning. So hi, I'm LaToya. I'm the founder of Nerdy Media. We're a Chicago-based uh, nonprofit that connects nerdy skills with 21st century skill development to help communities not only access technology, but to become uh, media content creators. Um, I'd like to share a little bit about my background with you all. I was a Chicago public school teacher, high school teacher from uh, for four years, and then I left in 2015 to start uh, Nerdy Media, where six of my students came with me, and I'm still mentoring them today. And I started the nonprofit startup podcast to kind of document my journey as a social entrepreneur. And let's fast forward to 2017, when the Chicago Learning Exchange awarded us um, $5,000 to design e-learning content for the LRNG platform. Um, and um, this project happened in three phases. One is discovery and planning, two, design, and three is publishing and um, production. You will notice these icons in the next couple of slides, and what that does, uh, what that indicates is um, how uh, connected learning aligns to each of these phases. So we started with um, our youth wanted to make a podcast, but they weren't sure what they wanted to talk about, so I scaffolded an approach to, um, to I guess, Design to produce a podcast. So we invited six of our youth to uh, to five sessions, and they earned stipends, um, and they uh, helped us not only learn how to make a podcast, but they also uh, helped to design the con the e-learning content as well. We started with what is a podcast, and they decided that they wanted to produce a podcast <laughs> that looks at life after high school. So to unpack that, we invited a narrative therapist to, um, I mean, a therapist to come and uh, uh, do group narrative group narrative therapy with us, and we also invited a uh, published author to help with scripting each episode. Um, they then, uh, we went over branding as well, uh, where they designed the cover art and um, titling of the podcast, and then we went through all the other phases of uh, podcasting. And the result is On Me, which is a podcast that looks at, um, a, that is about um, Chicago's youth, and so the, Chicago's youth, instead of saying, uh, I swear to God, they say On God, um, but in terms of, uh, they also say On Me, which is a term to use the, to explain the authenticity of a situation. Uh, to launch the podcast, they designed they uh, invited the local community to a dinner where they shared previews of the episodes as well as followed by a discussion about each episode. And so after, after we produced the, the podcast, we then produced 11 videos guiding each user, users through, um, through each phase of podcasting. And this resulted in not one LRNG playlist, but two because we're overachievers. Um, and then, so with the first playlist, you learn, you earn the podcast novice, which walks you through the pre-production of podcasting. And then with the second playlist, you earn the digital badge of uh, the podcast nerd, which goes through the publishing uh, and monetization and all the other aspects of, of, of podcasting. Um, and each uh, playlist concludes with a, a digital um, survey so that we can collect data from the users to, under, to improve the user experience as well as to help inform our local community of how podcasting might help. <laughs> um, so we completed in 2000, we completed in October of last year with 60% of the budget went to youth stipends and 40% went to the actual production of, of um, putting together those two playlists. And we're going to fast forward to this summer where we worked with 25 um, campers <laughs> Um, over 16 sessions, and, the, and we invited our youth who are also earned stipends um, uh, from the previous project to teach um, 25 middle, middle schoolers how to produce a podcast. Um, we also worked with 25 mothers and daughters this summer where three of our all, a female, a group of all females came and helped out uh, 25 mothers and daughters to produce the Polished Pebbles podcast. That's Winter there and that's Sheena up there. Um, so through this uh, project, our youth, we were able to connect our youth to uh, produce a real world, world project. They uh, connected with the local community and they also um, gained real world experience as media producers, edu community or organizers and educators. Um, so we produced the LRNG podcast um, as a resource for the uh, connected learning community who may want to um, uh, bring podcasting to your community. So it's, 
So I would like to conclude this um, presentation with uh, asking how could podcasting become a vehicle for connected learning in your community? And I totally forgot to put how to contact us, but I have business cards. They look like <laughs> coasters, but they're not coasters, they're business cards. So thank you very much. Thank you.